Snob is a pejorative term for a person that believes there is a correlation between social status and human worth. Snob also refers to a person that feels superiority over those from lower social classes, education levels, or other social areas. The word snobbery came into use for the first time in England during the 1820s. A snob is also a tool an anvil used by cobblers in the manufacture of footwear. Examples Snobs can through time be found ingratiating themselves with a range of prominent groups, soldiers Sparta, 400 BC, bishops Rome, 1500, poets Weimar, 1815, farmers China, 1967 for the primary interests of snobs is distinction, and as its definition changes, so, naturally and immediately, will the objects of the snobs' admiration. Snobbery existed also in medieval feudal aristocratic Europe, when the clothing, manners, language and tastes of every class were strictly codified by customs or law. Chaucer, a poet moving in the court circles, noted the provincial French spoken by the prioress among the Canterbury pilgrims, and French she spoke full fair and fetisly, after the school of Stratford at Bowie, for French of Paris was to her unknow. William Rothwell notes, the simplistic contrast between the pure French of Paris and her defective French of Stratford at Bowie that would invite disparagement. Snobbery surfaced more strongly as the structure of the society changed, and the bourgeoisie had the possibility to imitate aristocracy. Snobbery appears when elements of culture are perceived as belonging to an aristocracy or elite, and some people the snobs feel that the mere adoption of the fashion and tastes of the elite or aristocracy is sufficient to include someone in the elites, upper classes or aristocracy. However, a form of snobbery can be adopted by someone not a part of that group, a pseudo-intellectual, a celebrity worshipper, and a poor person idolizing money and the rich are types of snobs who do not base their snobbery on their personal attributes, such a snob idolizes an imitates, if possible, the manners, worldview, and lifestyle of a classification of people to which they aspire, but do not belong, and to which they may never belong wealthy, famous, intellectual, beautiful, etc. <laughs> snob victim The term, snob, is often misused when describing a gold tap owner i.e. a person who insists on displaying sometimes non-existent wealth through conspicuous consumption of luxury goods such as clothes, jewelry, cars etc. Displaying awards or talents in a rude manner, boasting, is a form of snobbery. A popular example of a snob victim is the television character Hyacinth Bucket of the BBC comedy series Keeping Up Appearances. <laughs> Analysis. William Hazlitt observed, in a culture where deference to class was accepted as a positive and unifying principle, "...fashion is gentility running away from vulgarity, and afraid of being overtaken by it." Adding subversively, "...it is a sign the two things are not very far apart." The English novelist Bulwer-Lytton remarked in passing, "...ideas travel upwards, manners downwards." It was not the deeply ingrained and fundamentally accepted idea of, "...one's betters." that has marked snobbery in traditional European and American culture, but aping one's betters. Snobbery is a defensive expression of social insecurity, flourishing most where an establishment has become less than secure in the exercise of its traditional prerogatives, and thus it was more an organizing principle for Thackeray's glimpses of British society in the threatening atmosphere of the 1840s than it was of Hazlitt, writing in the comparative social stability of the 1820s. See also Topic References Topic External Links Joseph Epstein in a snob free zone Is there a place where one is outside all snobbish concerns neither wanting to get in anywhere nor needing to keep anyone else out Topic. Etymologies Ask Oxford, Ask the Experts Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary Online Etymology Dictionary